Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Minecraft gameplay video. I have set up here the beginning of episode two of Chicken Farmer, in which is, uh, I guess, sort of bonus Minecraft episodes if you want to look at it that way, although they're meant to be kind of an apology for uh, me screwing up a couple of Minecraft videos pretty badly, where... Uh, some or all of the video content is missing. Although you get to hear me talk the whole time, so that's probably just as good, right? In any case, I had a... <clears throat> I, solic I solicited some suggestions about uh, what might be interesting to do. Jungle log, where did that come from? Uh, that's weird. Oh, I guess I... I guess I accidentally transferred that when I was getting ready. In any case, I solicited some suggestions about what, what might be interesting to do, and uh, Steve of Steve's Gaming, my Discord and YouTube friend, um, suggested an automated farm. He had a, he had a number of good suggestions, actually, but uh, the one that I've chosen to take on right now is uh, an automated chicken farm, a fully automated chicken farm, which uh, should produce cooked chickens. Now, one of the key components of that, don't go through the gate again, the portal, is a bucket of lava. So I was just assembling all of the bits I was going to need, or I will need. Probably I will have forgotten something, no doubt. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I'll dump out this bucket, and I'm hearing hearing things. Anyway, I'm actually not here to mess around with with things in the nether. That's, I'm easily distracted. I haven't uh, actually ventured into the nether in, in a fair number of episodes. Hello, bat. How did you get here? I guess you flew through the portal, hey? I don't think I've ever seen a bat in the nether before. It's interesting. Uh, and of course I'm down on the wrong level since I haven't been here for a while. I wish to get some lava, so I'm just going to dump that out. Water can't exist in the nether. Oh, I was going to... Uh, did, I ever, did I never finish that? What the heck was I doing? Okay, sorry, I've confused myself here. Now what I'm after is a bucket of lava. And uh, let's carry on with that mission. So the lava is what will cook the chickens. Kill and cook. I don't know if I've got everything I need or not. Uh, I certainly don't have the chickens. Whoops, again, I've gone the wrong direction. I certainly don't have the chickens, although I set up a chicken production uh, I don't know what the right term is chicken a chicken farm I guess over uh, on the other side of the village from my main base here the built the village that's near to my base and uh, so my intention is to harvest eggs from there and use that to fill up the the uh, chicken, the live chicken portion of the exercise. <laughs> All right, now I've got a couple of leads here, uh, which I am considering. Oh, it's nighttime already. The leads are to see if I can maybe drag some live chickens around, or put them in the boat with me, or drag them across the sea, or something. Well, the sun was going down. When can I sleep? There should be good now. There we go. Ah, yes, my advancement, the parrots and the bats, was about breeding uh, uh, chickens. I guess parrots and bats is the Minecraft equivalent of the birds and the bees. Hmm. I think I will maybe get some more uh, 
seeds, you know, they call their, they're called wheat seeds, in order to feed me some chickens, which is how you actually breed chickens, is you feed adults. seeds and then they produce they get together and produce a baby which is not very much resemblance to the real way I guess I guess there's a certain amount of resemblance to the real way chickens interact with each other in order to breed but we won't get it too hard too deep into the specific specifics of that here look it up kids I'm sure Wikipedia We'll tell you all about how that works. I'm just taking the boat around the to the back of the island. It's, I think, a little bit faster than taking the boat and then running across. Not by a whole lot, probably, but a little bit. So around the village we go. I guess I could take some wheat from there too. It's not the wheat I'm so much after as the seeds. That's okay. Once you get your chicken farm established, it's not really about breeding them. It's more about collecting eggs and then uh, uh, breaking the eggs and a certain, certain percentage of them will hatch out live chicks. <laughs> It's not that high a percentage, but when you've got enough eggs, it doesn't really need to be that high a percentage. So here's how I chose to do it. I didn't bring any fencing or gates or anything, so <laughs> now you can hear them. And the llamas are going mental. Is the, is the trader still in there? Yeah, so <clears throat> I was kind of hoping he might have uh, been deceased by now, but anyway. I'm just going to turn down my volume a wee bit here. The, um, I'm far enough away that all the, all the chickens were fixated on me because I had my seeds in hand. So if you put your seeds, if you put your seeds in hand, they'll all come flocking around you, hoping you'll give them some seeds. Nothing creepy about that, is there? Hello, you. I feel like I should maybe just murder this traitor. It's kind of ignorant to be sitting here in my chicken farm. Uh, I put that chest there to collect eggs, which I'm probably going to want to do. Now, unfortunately, the process of uh, collecting enough eggs, well, once you have enough adult chickens, it, it's not going to take that long, but as you can see, there's a fair number of babies or chicks running around at the moment. and. Uh, this trader is just basically in my way, which is pretty annoying. Anyway, you can see my lovely pit chicken farm with the trader hanging out at the bottom of it. I've got a bed there because you need to kind of hang around for quite a while. Uh, I built a little two block high wall to keep the uh, to keep the uh, monsters out and a little crafting box so I could make a door and whatever else I might need for chicken farming. And you can see that the trader has uh, somehow managed to get his leads to his llamas through the door, through the dirt, to the llamas that are outside the wall. So that's pretty talented on his part. I am so tempted to just murder him, but I don't think I need any more leads. I don't know if you can even use more than one lead at a time. I don't... I don't know. I'll find out, I guess. I guess I could find out right now, can't I? Put a lead on that guy, and a lead on that guy. Oh, you can. Interesting. I wonder if you can use more than two. Hmm. I should. Maybe I should just murder him up and get a couple more leads. Oh, I don't want to kill my chickens though. Whoops. That's not what I want. Just want to, I just want to murder you, not the chickens. Ah, come on. Don't make me kill my chickens. Here. Okay, 
Okay, got him. I don't think I killed any of my chickens. And now the llamas are going to be out for blood, I think. There's the leads. Are you guys going to... Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe... I can't remember if they... Anyway, you don't get anything from llamas, so I'm just going to leave them alone. They'll wander off, I would imagine, at some point. Got two more leads, so that might be useful. And... Chickens... Just busy chickening away down here in the bottom of their little pit. So I, I'm sure you figured out by now that this single block of dirt is, is uh, what allows me to get out of the pit, but not the chickens. And uh, yeah, there you go. Exciting little chicken farm made of dirt. Only dirt. So now I've got 16. I forget what the percentage is, but, well, I don't know if I ever knew what the percentage is for uh, eggs becoming chicks, but uh, it's not that high. So perhaps I will... I was kind of wanting to hang around here until some of these chicks mature into adults. Uh, in the meanwhile, maybe I'll do a little bit of chicken breeding as well. Hello, chickens. So you feed two of them, and then they will get together and uh, make baby chickens, also known as chicks. Super realistic farming mechanisms in Minecraft. Okay, that is, in fact, all of the... And then I'll just apply one grass seed, one wheat seed to the, uh, to a baby there, which I think, I think might accelerate their growth into an adult. That should have given me, I wasn't even paying attention, that should have given me a little more experience. So as long as I'm in the vicinity, I wonder what else I might do here while, while waiting for chickens to grow up and lay eggs. There were some other animals in the area which I murdered to get some meat and wool and such to make that bed. Uh, hmm, the llamas. Well, I, I assume they'll eventually go away. Pigs, I guess I could make a Pig pit. I don't see any more sheep or cattle around. I don't really have a strong desire to farm cattle. I don't think I need. I don't think I need to be making any more books. Um, and I certainly don't need any more food. Hmm. Well, what if I were to dig another while I'm waiting for these uh, chickens to grow up a bit? Five. That should do it. Oh, did I? Oh, I see what I did. Not quite what I wanted. I need. A, I want a walkway. So five. The five by five. I guess I could make it bigger than that, but I think that's enough. A few pigs. Okay, I will, oh there we go, I was going to say I'm going to wait for a little bit of grass to spread in here, but as long as I get some on the bottom level there, that's the main thing. And then it'll fill in. What if you llamas go away, how about that? Hello chickies. <laughs> oh, a bunch of them grew up I think. 
only giving them one, only giving one of them a seed doesn't really yield any results, but I'm going to leap out of the pit into my bed and sleep for the night. Sleep the night away. What is going on here? Funny thing happens with the mouse cursor, mouse control when you sleep. It seems to not always come back to the window properly. But if you pause it and then resume, it seems to capture it again properly. Okay, so I've got 32 eggs. I feel like I want more than that. Did the llamas go away? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some grass down at the bottom of the pit now, so that's good. Dig out the rest of it here. leave myself one block of dirt just like I did in the chicken farm so I can get in and out and let's go collect some pigs pigs are attracted to carrots which I am not carrying any so I'm hoping that the leads will allow me to drag them over here into this pit guess we'll find out Biggie, 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 big, biggie. Can I drag you? Oh, I can. Hey, that's handy. And two, two piggies being dragged by me. Surprisingly effective. I wonder if I can snap those leads by going too far or... Hmm. Or maybe down into a hole or something. Far so good. All right, well, I'm going to drag these guys into this hole, hopefully. There we go. Take the leads off, and boom, two pigs and a llama. <sighs> Mr. Llama, I don't really want you in here. You're going to persist, I guess. Mr. Pig, you can get down off of there. All right, so allow me to build up some walls. Allow me. I guess I don't think there's any way you could stop me. Yeah. Unless you have more powers than I even anticipated. You've grown stronger than I would have ever believed my apprentice. Alright, am I gonna run out of dirt? No. Okay, look at us, safe from, safe from uh, everything now. Okay, I just, I don't need this wall anymore. And I suppose I should jump in and collect some eggs. I can just kill this llama. Bye bye. Oh, he gave me leather. I take it back. You do get something from llamas. Where's the other one? He's out there. I feel like I want more leather. Oh, maybe I'll get those eggs first. Eggs, 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 eggs. Lots of adult chickens now, so that's good. Come here, you llama. More leather. Good for me. Just one. All right, well, eggs, eggs only uh, will have a maximum stack of 16, which is not sure what the logic behind that is because you can carry 64 blocks of stone and 64 logs but you can only carry 16 eggs I don't know maybe eggs are too delicate to carry in massive stacks I'm not sure so 
So I think I will aim for 64, which is just 11 more eggs. That shouldn't actually take very long. I'll need, if I want to breed some pigs, which I probably will, I guess, I'll need some carrots. That's all filling in nicely with grass. That won't take too long, actually. Hello, piggies. You can ride pigs, apparently. I've never done that. Put a saddle on them. Do I have a saddle? No, I don't have a saddle. Uh, put a saddle on them, and I think you can lead them if you make a carrot on a stick, or... Yeah, I think it's called carrot on a stick, something like that. Oh, I should put some light over here. I should put some light over here so that we can't uh, get uh, any monsters spawning inside this. I'm going to move this chest over now that I've expanded the footprint of the farm a bit. And maybe I'll move that bed as well now that I've got the option to make it look a little nicer. Put that down there. And I guess the workbench is fine where it is. And go grab some more eggs. Um, okay, alright, that's, that's more than 64 now. So I think I'm ready to go mess around with my automation, the automation aspects of my chicken farm now. I'm just going to spin around here a time or two more and pick up any more eggs that get produced. You can hear them pop out with that little popping sound. Kind of like that. Higher pitched. Once you got quite a few chickens, the egg production is actually pretty quick. I think each individual chicken will drop an egg approximately every five minutes. So if you had 60 chickens, that would be one, one, uh, one uh, what would that be? One every five seconds on average, I suppose, 60, does that sound right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, I've almost got, uh, I've almost got 80 eggs. It's a lot of eggs. Maybe I'll go for the 80. I think I'm not going to try and drag any chickens across the, oh, maybe I should cross the water. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll try and drag one across the water, see how that goes. Actually, can I can I use more than two leads? Let's find out. One, two, three, four. Look at me dragging chickens like I just don't care. Can I? Oh, did my leads break? Yep, my leads broke. Okay, so much for that idea. Where's the fourth one? There it is. Okay, that didn't work, which is fine. I think it's better to do it with eggs anyhow. Where's my boat? I'll try not to. I, I think I've been spinning the camera like a maniac here again, which I find quite hard to watch actually when I'm watching my own videos, which I don't do that much, but need to try to remember not to whip the mouse and camera around like that. Unpleasant to look at. Okay, so many eggs. All right. Bunch of things I don't need, but that's okay. I'm gonna be planting a lot of this stuff. Laying it down. So we'll go on a nice little ocean journey here for a bit. The, uh, the island where I started building the chicken farm. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ugh, heading back to my base. It's automatic, or yeah, more or less automatic. Like when I leave the village area, I go to my base, but that's not where I was setting up the chicken farm. 
where I'm setting up the chicken farm is a, a smallish island to the west and south of my main base as well as the village here. So as you can see the sun is setting, so that's west, and left of west is south, so here we are over here. Is, is that it there? I think that's the island right there in my sights. So it's not too far from the the village and the chicken farm. Unless you go the wrong way and head back to your, your base instead of your chicken farm. I didn't want the chicken farm to be close to my base because it would it'll up it left the entity count a fair bit in the area and uh, by 23 or 24 if I get it fully loaded or more actually once they start laying eggs and um, I don't really want that near my base because I've got my monster spawner there. Here we are. Fortunately I set up a bed here. So I can have my spawn point set in case of catastrophe. Now this all works. This is a, a repeater circuit set up based on the dispenser here having anything in it. So even a single item, I'm going to use dirt I guess, will cause the circuit to fire and start spitting out the blocks. It, I explained how that all works. I figured it out, although I was basing it on someone else's work, uh, but I put it together and explained to myself the functioning of it by experimentation and a little bit of reading satisfactorily so that I do have a pretty clear grasp on how that repeater circuit works now. Basically the, the dispenser powers the comparator just a little bit when something's in it which uh, you then feed that output into a what's called a repeater. It's a signal repeater, a redstone signal repeater, which fully powers this block, which then feeds power back into the comparator, which does what? Why do we need that, actually, now that I'm thinking about that? Is that even necessary? Let me just break that. Now I'm confused. Oh, it is it is necessary because 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 oh because the circuit has to be turned on and off. That's why. Okay. Um, right. I guess I shouldn't be confusing the matter here. So. What happens is the signal comes back down this path, uh, and then because it's stronger, it's a stronger signal than the weak signal coming out of the dispenser, it shuts the comparator off. And then once it's off, the weak signal from the dispenser turns it on, and it, it cycles like that. This other side takes power from this powered block when it is powered, uh, feeds this redstone trace, and into this repeater which boosts the signal right back up to max, powers this block of sand which is adjacent to the dispenser, and because it's triggered off and on based on the status of that block power, the dispenser is triggered every time the circuit cycles, every time the repeater circuit cycles, and then you, the dispenser will empty out. Anyhow, okay, so what we want, let me think about this for a second, the dispenser has to feed a, has to spit out a chicken block, which, or sorry, an egg, which can, they'll break when they're shot out of the dispenser and some of them will hatch into chickens chicks. And so we want the chick to be standing on and let me go take a look at this here. There's the 
there's a little sketch that I was looking at that, uh, whoop, why is that? Hello, why you go away? There it is. So, All right, so we want a chest feeding a hopper. Okay, so the chicken will sit on top of that slab. Okay, I think I got the idea now. Interesting design, actually. So what we want to do here is uh, put down a chest, which we will feed from a hopper. So put down a chest there. A big old chest will connect the hopper to that, which you do by holding down the shift key. And we should be able to see on the other side here. Did I do it right? I th think I did. Okay, I can't tell. Yeah, okay, you can see how the hopper has a little spur here that feeds into the chest. So, next thing then is to plant the uh, slab on top of on top of the hopper, which is where the okay. How do I do that? I guess I can do it up against the dispenser. Nope. There we go. So the eggs will fire from the dispenser onto that slab or into the slab. The ones that break will hatch into chickens. So let me fill this back. We don't need that. And I think we will just turn this into a little bit of a gallery, I guess. Okay, now, what else? The chickens need to be enclosed. I can do that with glass, which might allow... That's actually why I have all this glass, is because that will allow... Did I do this right? Can the chest open like that? Oh, it can. I'm shocked. Okay, so there we go. That will keep the chickens... Well, it won't actually. That will keep the chickens in. And we need a hopper feeding into this dispenser, like so. So now the, the chute kind of connects to the top of the dispenser. And we're going to put a carpet on here, maybe, if I can. There we go. Moss carpet, which I collected from that uh, giant lush cave that I found. And then, what, 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 what is missing here? We need lava, for starters. How do we keep the... How do we keep the lava from burning up that carpet? One is forced to wonder. So the chickens will stand on the carpet. Right, we seal off the magma. All right, so the chickens will stand on the carpet, I believe. And if I do this right, whoop, what happened there? Oh, I got the old mouse. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't put the lava in. So, okay, uh, let's see here. I'm going to put a sand block on there. Then I'm going to put the lava in there. Put the glass block on top of that. That should keep the carpet safe. And then I am going to need a... Let's see here. Going to need a... That's not going to work. Do I care?
care about having blocks here? I don't know that I do. Okay, so let's build some blocks on around like so. And then the chickens will go into here. And can they hop out? I'm not sure if they can. I think they probably can. I'm pretty sure chickens can hop two blocks, so... Ugh, come on, mouse, stay in the window. So, I'm going to uh, put two blocks high there. And then I'm going to need to be able to get back in here. I can solve that later with scaffolding, maybe, or sand blocks or something. So now I'm going to fling all my eggs into here, which uh, some of which hopefully will hatch into chickens. There's one, or chicks rather. Ooh, lucky. So ideally, I think the maximum number of of um, entities monsters or animals or whatever that can be in one block that can occupy one block is 24 I think and uh, oh shoot I knocked him out darn it I guess I should just go one at a time so that's four five Six, seven. Ah, I'm doing pretty good here. I mean, the percentage is eight. Not me, personally. Uh, so I think that's eight chickens. Uh, nine or chicks. No more. Okay, so I got. I guess it's the law of averages anyway. So that's the that is the contraption. Now, okay, let's uh, maybe I'll leave that guy alone. I was gonna murder him, but I'll wait till he grows up to murder him. So there we are. Oh, it's getting to be night again. So here we have the chicken farm. So what? Well, there's some waiting to be done here, and I'm sure, I'm sure that's uh, not going to make for very interesting viewing. So, so I'll, I, I think I'll do that off camera, and then I'll maybe make another episode showing the uh, hopefully functional chicken farm. So there we go. That is the that is the chicken farm build, automated. Now. Because we're now past half an hour, in fact, coming up on 40 minutes, I'm going to wrap up this episode here as the sun goes down. But, um, yeah, very exciting. I think that should work. So what will happen is the chickens, the chicks will mature into adults. They'll start laying eggs every five minutes or so. Eggs drop through the carpet into that hopper. Um, the hopper feeds into the dispenser. Once the dispenser has something in it, it fires into the slab there, which breaks the egg. And once in a while, a chick will hatch. And then when the chicken, when the chick grows into a chicken, it's uh, the chick. Let me back up for a second. The chick is is not tall enough to be killed by the lava. It can it can stand underneath the lava in that little small space, but. A chicken, a grown chick, is too tall, so its head pops up into the lava, killing the chicken and cooking the carcass, which then drops through that slab again, Minecraft physics, and uh, hits that hopper, which deposits it in the chest there. Exciting stuff, hey? That's the idea, anyhow. So, we'll sleep through the night, hang around, and wait for the chickens to mature. Probably what I'll do. Well, so you need to just spend time in the area in order for there to. I don't know how long it takes chickens to mature, but I think it's probably five or ten minutes of game of play time, which is a couple of days. Ten minutes is about. That's well, about one day I think of game time. Anyway, 
let's call it a wrap there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was interesting. It's, it's interesting to me, and I'm looking forward to seeing it working, which uh, hopefully will be probably the last video in my Chicken Farmer series. Probably. So take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.